Hello everyone, this is Steve from Aircraft Specialty with another video in our new video series entitled How We Make It. Now this video is going to be part one of a video series on CNC instrument panel design, cutting, powder coating, and labeling. As you can see on our screen right here, what we have is we have a visual rendition of a customer panel. Now there's a lot of different ways of doing instrument panel design. One way is to use a computer software program uh, which has pictures of a lot of the different instrumentation that exists and allows you to select objects, pick different items, move them around, and see what your panel is going to look like. Some of our customers like to do things this way. Another way of doing uh, panel design is to go ahead and actually get pictures of the different instrumentation that exists and actually putting them up on your panel blank in your aircraft and seeing how it all fits. Regardless of the method you employ, um, everything ends up leading us to the same spot. If you have already come up with a complete panel design and you know exactly what you want, please feel free to send us an image of what you're planning or you know whatever information you may have. But we also want you to know that instrument panel design can be a quite large and daunting task and we're happy to uh, use our experience in instrument panel design to help you along the way if you need some advice or, or would just like suggestions. Regardless of how you do it, the end goal is that you have an instrument panel that you can be proud of, that looks great, that's functional, and will accomplish the needs that, that you have for your aircraft. Once we have an instrument panel layout selected, the next step in the process is to go ahead and model that layout in CAD software. Now at Aircraft Specialty, we use a CAD program entitled VCarve Pro. What VCarve Pro is, is it's a uh, computer modeling program that allows us to actually take um, instrument uh, cutouts and put them into the program. Now we've compiled a very large database of different instrumentation that exists, but if for some reason you are putting an instrument in your aircraft that we don't have the data on, we go to the manufacturer, uh, either to their website documentation or by phone or email, to make sure that we have an, exact, uh, an exactly correct, dimensionally accurate image of what you're putting into your panel. This is important for two reasons. Number one, we need to make sure that the whole cutout that we make in your panel will fit with your instrument. And number two, we need to make sure that the external dimensions of the instrument are correct so that we're able to do our lineup so that when you look at your panel, everything appears lined up properly and perfect. What you see on your screen right now is a final uh, panel that's ready for customer cutting. This specific panel has already gone through three or four different renditions, but it's complete now. And there's a couple different options we have for customers once we have a complete panel. Option number one is that we can send you a full-size drawing of this panel. And effectively what we do is we send you a file that you can then go ahead and take down to your FedEx Kinko's location, and you can have them print out a full-size uh, instrument panel. And then you can take that and put it in your airplane and take a look at it and make sure that everything seems to be good and that you like the way that it looks. Option number two, and this um, is one that uh, we're very excited about, is we can cut a Lexan panel for you. Uh, so effectively, we can take this instrument panel and we can cut it out in clear Lexan. Now there's a couple advantages to this. Number one, when we send it to you, you're able to mount all your instrumentation in it and make sure that everything fits and looks the way that you want it to. The other option, or the other advantage to this option, is that it's going to be a clear Lexan panel. So you'll have a full view of everything behind your instrument panel when you do this. This allows you to do wiring runs a little bit easier because you can see what's going on without having to necessarily crawl underneath your panel. Also, while you're working on getting your wiring and getting everything perfect, we can go ahead and we can cut your final panel and if you choose also powder coat and label it and then you can get everything set up so that when your final panel arrives all you need to do is go ahead and swap out the instrumentation. The third and final option is some customers know exactly what they want and they're ready to have their metal panel cut right away. We are also very happy to do that for you. 
Once the panel design has been finalized and we're ready to cut it, we have to do what's called tool pathing. When we toolpath a panel, effectively what we're doing is we're telling our CNC machine what tools to use and how to make the cutouts. So once we've done our toolpathing, we want to always make sure and do a simulation to make sure that the final panel is going to turn out exactly as we had anticipated. We run a simulation where the CNC machine goes and drills all the holes and cuts all the cutouts. Once that's complete, we visually look at it and make sure that the final cutouts match what we had designed in our program. This concludes part one of this series. Part two is going to uh, take us up from the point where we actually put your metal panel blank on, your, on our CNC router and it's going to take us through the uh, final cutting of your instrument panel. We hope you enjoyed this video.